Thank you. A high school group meant to promote unity between gay and straight students was allegedly confronted by those who oppose it. Outraged parents blasted students who reportedly harassed and confronted members of Frontier High School's Gay Straight Alliance. 23 ABC's Emma Lockhart has more on the accusations and reaction from one student who disputes it. A meeting aimed at providing a safe place for LGBTQ youth turned confrontational. Don't come at us. Frontier High School held its first Gay Straight Alliance meeting Wednesday afternoon, but according to one parent's Facebook post, students in the organization were met with harassment. The post says after the meeting, student members were confronted by students holding MAGA flags and straight kids holding hands, saying this is what is right. Frontier High School senior Matthew is one of the students accused of harassing the GSA group. He paints a different picture of what happened, saying he and his friends joined the meeting out of curiosity curiosity not to provoke conflict so we uh, we showed up to the meeting and um, when we walked inside like we could immediately tell people did not want us there they were dirty looks just they they were surprised we showed up and didn't want us there Matthew says after the meeting the fight was instigated by a GSA member and students started arguing on both sides it wasn't just us saying stuff to them and it wasn't them just saying stuff to us we were all screaming and yelling at each other. Matthew says he didn't hear anyone use any slurs. However, in this video, you can hear some students going back and forth with one another. Well, liking the opposite gender. You, you absolutely. This clip shows a truck driving by waving a Trump 2020 flag out the window. Matthew says he and his group of friends were suspended from Frontier High School for harassment, intimidation and sexual harassment, but maintains he didn't want to start a fight. If you have an opinion that people don't agree with, it's you get, you know, hated on for it. And so sometimes it just makes people not want to have an opinion because they're worried about the backlash that's going to come from it. The Kern High School District releasing a statement to 23 ABC saying in part, the Kern High School District and Frontier High School recognize that students have varying viewpoints and opinions. One of the goals of the educational process is to teach students how to communicate respectfully. I'm Emma Lockhart, 23 ABC connecting you. The Kern High School District went on to say they are investigating the incident and once it is complete, appropriate follow-up measures, they say, will be taken.